Suppose I were falling in love with you because of your beauty. You claim this is shallow. I say that claim is shallow. Do you have any idea how many millions of years of evolution went into making your beauty? The amount of desperate struggle, the bloodshed, the despair, the death it took to make those celestial cheekbones of yours, to have those bounteous buttocks go a bouncing as they do hypnotically in the rhythm, the cosmic gorgeousness of your titties, thousands of generations had to evolve to give you your beauty and you act like it's nothing but spend hundreds of dollars a month on cosmetics no it's quite a thing to have a personality and it's quite a thing to be condemned for it but that too took a lot of work. So love comes in at the eye. Yes, it does. Lust comes in at the eye. And that's not trivial either. So if you think the greatest thing that men and women can do together is figure out how to solve hypothetical syllogisms or do differential calculus, have at it. You might as well get rid of the sublimity of emotion as well and all other things because of this absurd hyper emphasis and not even hyper valuation because a true valuation would value intellect for what it is. I don't see a lot of intellectual activity going on. I see a lot of posing going on. So it's just a hypocritical hyper emphasis of personality and intellect, because there's not too much of either in contemporary Americana society.